Let's balance the net ionic equation for Mg plus HBr. This is magnesium plus hydrobromic acid. This is a single displacement reaction. So the first thing with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see that I have two bromine atoms here and just one here. So let's put a two here. It fixes the bromines, two hydrogens. We have two hydrogens here, magnesium, magnesium. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. Magnesium, that's a metal, so it's solid. Hydrobromic acid is considered a strong acid, so that'll be aqueous. When we have the bromide ion here, with magnesium bromide, for example, that's going to be aqueous most of the time. And then hydrogen, that's a gas. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They'll be on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants, I have two bromide ions. In the products, I also have two bromide ions. So these are spectator ions. Let's cross those out. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for Mg plus HBr. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium plus hydrobromic acid. You note that charge is conserved. We have 2 times 1 plus. That gives us 2 plus, And over here we have 2 plus. So that's the same on both sides. Charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium plus hydrobromic acid. Thanks for watching.